And so it's kind of big. It's like there's a there's a weight to it that I I like I like thinking about. It's like every person who goes in to do their real you know you re, it's called looping where you go say your lines again and you they clean up the dialogue and all this. You go to a recording studio and you get to see like three minutes of the movie. Every single person that's gone in, every one of the actors has come back to the group text that we have and like you guys, this is incredible. Like incredibly beautifully shot mm -hmm. and you know really epic and i can't believe it's even more than the other the other two were before it Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a recent interview B.D. Wong gave on what to expect from Jurassic World Dominion. This interview basically had the actor go over his feelings in the movie, which is by now approaching the end of whatever editing phase it's currently going through, and what the man who plays Dr. Wu has to say about the film overall. Now before we go into further details about the movie that the man revealed in the interview, I would like to go over his comments on the film being, quote, as beautifully shot and having a weight to it, which I think could be indicative of the type of story that we can expect to see. Earlier this year, we got to see the Jurassic World Dominion prologue, which was only screened ahead of specific IMAX showings of Fast and Furious 9, but in that short section of the movie, we already saw that Colin Trevorrow had delivered an incredibly well-shot segment of the film that took place during the Cretaceous period, which got a whole lot of press and people interested in seeing how this would all tie into the actual modern-day plot of the movie itself. B.D. Wong also talked about the story having a sort of heavy weight to it, which he had other things to say about in this bit of the interview here. It's, it is bigger. It's like they really wanted to go out with a bang and they made the last one really big. I think it's like bigger and longer and more like a film than just this kind of, you know, another installment of. They wanted to wind it down, you know, all the principles from Jurassic Park are in it. Laura Dern, Sam Neill, and Jeff Goldemar are on the other, and they're not in it just like, oh, look, there they are. They're playing leading parts mm. in the movie. So there's Bryce and Chris Pratt, who are the Jurassic World couple, and then there are these three honorary kind of huge, iconic kind of characters that are coming back, resolving their relationships and their relationships to the whole conundrum of dinosaurs existing and all that stuff. With this information being given on Jurassic World Dominion, I think the audience can probably expect to see something of a truly massive sequel to not only Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, but also the other three Jurassic Park movies in what B.D. Wong seems to believe is a pretty important way. The idea that Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, and Ian Malcolm are having to deal with their relationship to the whole idea of dinosaurs even existing in the modern day could be something of a true sequel to Jurassic Park in spirit of the actual continuation of the characters, which I've been vocal about this series never really getting before. So the idea of an entire film being sort of a follow-up to that lunch scene in Jurassic Park, where Malcolm basically condemns John Hammond's vision, Sattler warns about the dangers of having extinct animals being reintroduced into a modern ecosystem, and Grant just kind of tells everyone that nobody knows what to expect, is a really novel idea that should probably have been done back in the 90s. But to see the first film in this saga to have all three of the principal cast return alongside the Jurassic World team is definitely something that I think people are beyond ready to see no matter when it comes out. I also like the idea of this movie being both longer than the other entries, and having a scope that is not only bigger, but feels more filmic in design. And combining this information with the idea of the movie being beautifully shot and executed, which I think we've technically already seen for ourselves with the Dominion prologue, I think this movie has an awful lot to offer the Jurassic franchise when it's finally released. I do wonder where Universal plans to take the series from here though, because now that dinosaurs have been unleashed all over the world and we're finally getting the return of the original cast, I hope they don't just abandon these actors and characters when they decide to do other projects in the future, which Frank Marshall has already confirmed they are actively developing. So essentially, B.D. Wong is telling us that Jurassic World Dominion is confirmed to be longer than the other movies, it feels far more filmic and has a bigger scope, it deals with the fallout of dinosaur mayhem from Fallen Kingdom while also addressing the original film's themes and ideas, and it's also much more gorgeous to look at with every actor that's gone into the studio to do looping saying so. Anyways, whatever Jurassic World Dominion has to offer, I personally can't wait to see it, and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. 
So guys, I wanted to ask what all of you think about this information. What do you think about Dr. Wu's comments on Jurassic World Dominion and its overall scope? And what do you personally expect to see from the main cast returning in the story set on the mainland 30 years after the events of the first movie? Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.